Every new motorcycle needs a few accessories. In this video, I'll show you how I mounted and wired up my GPS, a power supply for my phone, and a Cena free wire. This is my new, to me, 2017 Road Glide Special, which I bought from my friend Rick. I've been working on adding electrical accessories to the bike. I'm installing my uh, RoadTech Zumo 665, uh, a mount and power wire for my phone, and uh, hooking up the Cena free wire. First I'll uh, take you upstairs and we'll look at uh, some of these accessories that I'm going to be adding. This is the Cena free wire. It's a Bluetooth device that connects to the Harley sound system and to a Bluetooth uh, headset. It comes with a wire that connects to the Harley audio system and a power wire that plugs into a cigarette lighter and converts it to 5 volts and plugs into the unit. My friend bought a USB splitter and a USB cable that converts to a barrel connector to power the uh, to power the Cena from the USB. Now he plugged the USB splitter into the USB port of the Harley. I think that's not a very good idea because if anything goes wrong you uh, could burn out that circuit in the radio, the USB circuit in the radio, and that wouldn't be good. So I'm going to uh, power it with the standard uh, Cena power cable. Uh, the other problem was that the barrel connector that he bought is just a little bit too big, didn't make good contact. I believe that's a 1.3 millimeter barrel and uh, I believe the Cena uses a 1 millimeter barrel. Now to power the Cena power cable, I bought a um, 1 into 2 12 volt power splitter. I'm going to uh, cut the wires and then uh, wire it into the power and, and plug the uh, Cena cable into the socket. I'm going to use these Positap connectors to connect into the power wires. If you haven't seen these and aren't using them, you need to check them out. They are just really super good product very easy and way to connect into power wires. One thing to note is you can use a USB splitter to connect two thumb drives into the Harley system. I tried it and the system recognized both thumb drives and the songs that were on each. So I removed the windshield and fairing to get at uh, the wiring and to be able to route the cables through the bike and I removed the headlight. One thing you should know is when you remove these four bolts that hold the light in, they are set in with some super duty thread locker and I had to use 3 8 inch ratchet and extension in order to get those bolts out. Now my friend installed the cable, the audio cable, which plugs into the harness. And uh, it's a long cable because it's uh, intended to uh, run down to the dash on the gas tank. So it's looped around here. And then plugged in the cable, the audio cable and routed it around. And through this hole into the um, glove box on the right side. I'm going to 
um, connect the power for the uh, Cena connector over here with positive taps and uh, and plug it in underneath here. That I routed down alongside the speaker. I'll tuck that in and secure it and it goes in through the hole there into that compartment where it will where it plugs into the free wire. What I did was cut the wires of this power splitter. I'm going to do this same installation on my wife's road glide. So I've got a second one there. But you see I cut them off. Then I checked the polarity using my ohm meter to make sure I knew which one was plus and which was minus. The white one is the plus on this particular model. Next I installed two positive taps and wired the socket into those. I've taped the plug and connector together and I put a tie wrap around the bitter end of the tape so that uh, it won't come unraveled. Up here I removed the speaker so that I can route the wire behind the speaker. It'll hold it there and keep it from rattling in front of the speaker. I ran the uh, really nice braided USB 3 power wire down the handlebar and through the spine and out here and brought it up to this uh, two port power supply. Next I want to talk to you about this power device that I got to uh, power my phone. It's a 12 volt to uh, 5 volt, has two USB power ports and each one of them is 2.1 amp for a total of 4.2 amps. Uh, it connects with an SAE connector and it comes with an SAE cable which I ride, routed around here and uh, cut to the proper length, connected it into this wire which goes to the power port. And I mounted it with Velcro to this little platform and then I'll plug it together and as I said I routed this braided USB cable. It's a USB 3.0 because my, my phone takes a USB 3.0 uh, cable and it went down into the spine up through the hole through the uh, instrument cluster and up the handlebar here with tie wraps. I went with this plug-in device because I've had trouble with USB power devices that are wired into the bike. They eventually uh, wear out and I like the fact that I can uh, if this wears out I can unplug it and plug in a new one without taking it all apart and the way I've located it I should be able to uh, just remove the top duct without removing all of the fairing and I could get to it to replace it. It's important to note when we're talking about the top duct to keep this area here between the bracket and the instrument clear because there are parts that go down in there when you um, open and close the, uh, the, the vent. So on both sides this area needs to be kept clear. Here's the uh, bottom side of the top duct and you can see that arm goes uh, up and down and goes into that slot. You want to keep those slots clear. So here you see my phone is plugged in and charging. You probably know that if you use Waze or Google Maps or other mapping program that they suck 
down a lot of power keeping the screen alive and updated. So that's why I provide power, constant power to my phone. Now I routed the cable for the GPS into the, let me get around here, routed it into the instrument housing and down through a hole in the top of the spine and then it came out here in the uh, center and it routed it through to this side of the bracket and coiled it up. I connected it with two of those PosiTap uh, connectors to this uh, power lead that's not used. And I brought the uh, wire up here for the um, XM antenna and it's going to uh, sneak through and be up on top. All right, I put the headlight and the fairing back on. I used just a tiny bit of blue Loctite on the bolts for the headlight. And as you can see, with the top ducked off, I have access to the uh, power supply for the USB for my phone. I put the top duct back on and you can see where the uh, Garmin antenna for XM can sit. For now that's where I'm going to put it. Uh, I haven't decided if that's uh, the last thing I'm going to do, but I can get at it and disconnect it and put it in my car if I want to. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please click the like button and leave a comment. I'll leave links to the products I used in the description below. Thank you.